What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen, and thank you so much for checking out what Billy be cooking today. We have a we're gonna have a wonderful uh, creamy chipotle garlic chicken thigh recipe, all done in one pan, uh, and we're gonna do this over. We're gonna do it over mashed potatoes. We're gonna have a side salad with it. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, first, we're gonna get these marinated. Now for uh, the seasonings. Going with salt and pepper first. And you want to generously season both sides. You know, chicken ain't got no flavor in the middle of it, it's just chicken. So get that outside tightened up. And with some cracked black pepper. Cracking as we speak. All right. Now going in with some uh, smoked paprika. And all my measurements will be down here on the damn chicken. Just watch what I'm doing. I hate measuring shit. Just eyeball it. You know, you know, basically how to cook right now. What seasonings taste good. What you like. And how much of it you like. So if it looks like I had a little bit too much salt, don't add as much salt. If I tell you it takes two tablespoons of salt, and you try it, and you are allergic to salt or some shit, I could mess you up. I ain't responsible. Use what you like and how much of it you like. Now I'm going in with some thyme. A little bit of thyme. Everybody got time for thyme. Let's a little bit of thyme on there. Don't be scared. Then I got some, uh, some basil. Just some dried basil. And then I got some uh, some rosemary. Oh, if you, I'm telling you, the best way to cook your bacon <clears throat> when you cook your bacon, I know it has no relevance here, but cook your bacon in the oven. Trust me, 400 degrees in the oven for about 14 minutes. 14 minutes, 400 degrees in the oven. Perfect way to cook bacon. When you get your bacon lined out on your cookie sheet, sprinkle you some of this rosemary, some dried rosemary on your bacon, and then bake it. Oh my God. Rosemary bacon is the shit. All right, so now we got all the seasonings on the bottom side. Use your wet hand, get it pressed in there. Because we're going to flip these and do the other side, and you don't want. Well, you want to try to limit how much is going to fall off when you flip it. All right, so we got that side. Now do the pretty side. All right, press that in to the skin so you can win. And then we're going to let this. Get it covered up, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. You don't have to wait. Move your magic, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got our pan heated. Now we're going in with some oil. I like to use avocado oil. Uh, it has a, one of the highest smoke points of all the oil you could buy in the store. We're going to get this oil heated up. You'll see, like, little ripples and waves in the oil. That's when you know it's hot enough. All right, I don't know if y'all can see the shimmer in there, or the, the shimmy shake, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it should be ready. So we're going in with the chicken, and uh, first you want to lay it skin side down first. And when you hear that sizzle, you know your skillet was warm enough anyway. That's just another way you can test. Try to make sure you got good surface contact on everything. All right, so it's been three minutes now. Let's get these flipped over and we'll take a look. You get a good, a good brown, nice brown color on, 
On the top side of it, we'll let these we'll let these go for about three to four minutes as well. All right, it's been so it's been another four minutes. Let's check this chicken. Oh, that's beautiful. That's that's what we're looking for. All right, let's get this chicken to the side. We're gonna start working on the sauce. I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil out because we don't need that much oil. Just get you a napkin. Get it soaked up, throw it in the trash. But you see all those bits in there, we're still going we're still gonna use them. That's gonna be in this amazing sauce. So get your two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm using uh, I'm using ghee and I'm using a damn tablespoon, so I need one more. But uh and if you've never heard of ghee, uh, no need to worry, and no need to be scared of the name. It's uh, that's all right there. All it is is clarified butter, which is basically unsalted butter, so it don't have the protein, the milk proteins in it that like a country crock or a butter you normally would think of would have. So it just has a higher smoke point. It don't burn as quick. So. Get that butter up in there. Get that warmed up. Now we're going in with. I have a diced onion here. We want the whole onion. All right, so we got the onions translucent. Now I'm going in with some garlic. We got a a few garlic cloves here. I got five to be precise. And. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen my little contraption here, but I right, get that mixed up in there for about 30, 40 seconds. You'll start to smell that garlic. And when you do, then it's time for your next ingredient so you don't burn your garlic. Oh man, that smells delicious. All those seasonings. Look at that season. See that crust? On the bottom, that's going to be up in just a minute. Now, now that you got that garlic smelling right, you're going to go with uh, two tablespoons of flour. And we're going to be making a roux. And a roux is just a thickener. We're going to go in with one cup of chicken broth. And if you're using chicken broth out of a box, like I am, because I have time to make my own, uh, you'll see me do this over and over again. If you're using box chicken broth, just take you some uh, tomato paste. Put a little bit of tomato paste in there. Exact measurements, as you can see. And what that does, the tomato paste, like when you're making a homemade stock, whether it be chicken or, I don't know, I'm yelling. <laughs> whether it be chicken or beef stock, if you're making a homemade, uh, what you do, like for chicken stock, you take chicken bones, you put them on a sheet tray, you cover them in uh, tomato paste, and you put them in the oven. You bake the hell out of them in the oven, and that releases all the marrow in the bones and gets all the goodness in the stock. So your stock comes out a good, rich-looking flavor. Now, I don't know what they use to make box stocks at the grocery store. But one thing you can do to make it as good and rich as a homemade stock, like I said, add a little bit of tomato paste and then cook it down. You want to cook it down, reduce it. And then that'll get those flavors up in there and give you a much better stock to work with. While this chicken stock is uh, reducing down, I'm also going to add a teaspoon of uh, better than bouillon. This is the vegetable base. 
You can use chicken base also. I just don't happen to have any at the moment. So this vegetable base would be great too. All right, now that we got that about that consistency, almost like it's a gelatin type, then you want to go in with a half cup of heavy cream and a half cup of whole milk. I'm just doing it all together, but there's a half cup of each. Get that incorporated up in it. And this is where the magic starts to come together. And I know you're saying, Billy, why are you using a wire whisk on a stainless steel pan? Um, well, because I'm being gentle, and it's my shit. Leave me alone. You'll see. You'll see. Now that I got the sauce like that, right, what I'm going to do now is add some of my happy magic to this. I'm going in with one and a half teaspoons of my chipotle. You know I love that, that chipotle smoke flavor with the heat. So just want to get that incorporated in your sauce. All right, now that we got that to a really good consistency, we're going in with uh, A little bit of Parmesan. Probably about a quarter cup of Parmesan. We're going in the oven for 45 minutes. With this here, right? Alright, and then I'm also going in with a quarter cup of parsley. Rough chopped parsley. Ain't gonna be nothing crazy. Just some pretty color and give it a little fresh taste to it. Get it all incorporated and stir it up. Then after you cook that for about a minute. Make sure you get everything out the bottom. Go ahead back with your chicken. And then just get you a spoon and spoon the mixture over the top of your chicken. Just kind of baste it sort of with it, you know. All right, now we're going in the oven. 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Set your timer. And we'll be right back. In between that time, I'm going to go ahead and make the mashed potatoes. But Y'all seen me make mashed potatoes before. If not, I'll leave a link. Uh, you can check those videos out. We'll be right back. Alright, we're pulling the uh, chicken out of the out of the stove, let's go ahead and baste it some more with the uh, with the sauce. Oh my God! Look how creamy that is, y'all. That's gonna go perfect with the mashed potatoes. All right, let's get this plated up so we can see how beautiful this is going to be. Uh, first, we start with the mashed potatoes. Get a good base in there. Yeah. Then, and then, get you a beautiful a beautiful chicken thigh. Set it right in the middle. Then you got to drizzle some of that beautiful sauce over the top of it. You want to make sure that sauce is the highlight of the show. 
Even though the chicken thigh is your protein, that sauce is the highlight, yo. And mix that in with your mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Wait a minute. I'm missing something. Gotta keep it pretty, right? All right, now that we've made this beautiful plate, it's time to take a taste test. Actually, one more look, because that is pretty. You don't see that? Okay. My bad. <laughs> All right. Taste test. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. All right. Show. I guess just dig in. So get a piece of the chicken back here. Oh man, this is like as soft as pulled pork. Good lord, look at it. It's just tearing apart. Alright, so, mm. Ooh. So get some, uh, some chicken and some mashed potatoes and that sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that tastes like a security blanket. Good Lord. Oh, I feel safer just knowing that this has been in the world. God, oh, that's delicious. Oh, my God. Mmm, 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 <laughs> come on, come on, stop it, it cannot be that good, oh my god, oh my gosh, and I got leftover, whoo, mmm, god, no, please try this recipe right here, out of everything I've made, Try this one first. Try this one first. I mean, I did a bomb ass bull peanut video. As easy as it was. Do this first. This is so delicious. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man. This is the first time I ever made this. First time I ever put them ingredients together. God, dog. Um, hey, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below right there and there's a little bell hit that ringing bell and then uh it'll let you know whenever i post new videos like i wasn't even gonna make this tonight but uh to be honest with you i'm in love with you y'all make me eat better crazy to say i'm a bachelor it's friday night i ain't got no plans i could have just made me some bomb ass fried bologna sandwich or something with some tomatoes and lettuce that sounds pretty good but no, I said I make it. I want to make a video for my friends, my family, my fans, uh, and I want to bring them something good. So I did a bunch of research, figured out what I wanted to do, put my thought process together. <sighs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for not only watching but giving me the motivation and the aptitude to actually want to do something to show y'all. I'm proud of this. If you make this uh, just like I did it and you don't like it, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Yeah. I'm going to save this plate right here. Anybody wants to come over right now and get a taste of this right here? <laughs> All right. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm bullshit. But please try this. This was so good. God, dog. Those potatoes, like I said, I'll leave a link uh, to the previous potato video I made. How to make good mashed potatoes. And then this chicken and the sauce. All right. Uh, 
I'm going to let you go or this is going to turn into a dating video. Um, but thank y'all so much for coming back to my kitchen. Uh, I really, really appreciate y'all being here. It's, it's kind of lonely right here. <laughs> I'm just playing. Come back and see me. I love y'all with all my heart. I'll see you soon.